part two is coming. Ignore the fact that I'm in the middle of doing laundry. You can see Carter right here um, and Bo right there. He's got, I don't know, he probably won't let me have it back. Um, it's like this, I don't know, if you know the Kong toys, it's like that, but it's a square and you can put stuff in it and freeze it. It's got green beans and I think some yogurt and I think I put a little bit of an orange in there, but he'll go through it real quick. I just did it because yesterday when I was filming, um, they were crying because, I mean, you probably couldn't hear them crying, but they would every once in a while because they don't think they can be alone. So and they didn't want to watch TV in there by themselves. So they're in here with me. Ignore Carter, constantly chewing on his little feet. Carter, Tartar, June Carter. Hey, can you say hi? <laughs> um, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy part two because this is where it starts to get really juicy. I'm saying this is gonna be stuff that you never would've thought would've happened. This is stuff, it's just, it's, it's about to go down. Um, and I'm sure you will all be happy that you don't have to wait another week for it. Um, I didn't want to do that to you guys, so I'm just going ahead and doing it right now. Alright. Alright, so we left off. I ended June. Now we're going to start in July. And like I said a second ago, this is where it starts to get super juicy. Um, so... I had had the interview at the place we started working at and I got hired. This is around the time Amber Lynn had her interview and she got hired as well. Uh, the interview, we had to do a typing test, a drug test, a background check, just a whole bunch of stuff. It took like four hours while you were there. Um, we had to get a new bank account. Um, I bank with Navy Federal and I thought that would be a good bank because I figured they'd be everywhere but not in Kentucky for whatever reason or not where I lived at in Kentucky. So we ended up having to get U.S. Bank. Um, I'm back to using Navy Federal now, obviously, because I'm back in Florida. And I was using it when I moved back to Kentucky as well. But let's see. Um, we also had our one year anniversary also around the 4th of July, you know, that was our, um, anniversary, like I said, and we did the 4th of July, like celebration with my family and I made firecracker cookies and my mom made cherry bombs where she did vodka infused cherries and a little bit of jello and put sprinkles on it and what have you. They were really good. Um, I got Amberlynn a promise ring around this time for our one year. Um, it was mostly because she was talking about getting engaged a lot. She was talking about wedding stuff kind of a lot. And I just wanted to get her a ring just to make her happy, basically. Um, and then y'all talking smack about them being the same ring that I gave Lexus. It is not. And then I think someone also asked before I get too into the same ring thing. Uh, my ring, it doesn't say anything. It's actually meteorite that goes all the way around. I don't know how else to show it to you. Um, but I don't know what Amberlynn did with the ring I gave her, but I didn't, didn't ever have it again. And I literally just got Lexus is in January so I can't help that they both like opal that's just what when me and Lexus have looked at rings before that's what she liked so that's what I got her um I also noticed that she um tried to film me in the shower a lot not like really showing too much of me but still kind of showing me um most of the time when she would be in there it was because I have really bad acne clearly my face it's on my back though TMI but whatever and I would have her scrub it for me because I try to keep 
it calmed down. Um, I had a surprise birthday party for my birthday that I wasn't expecting. It was a few days before my birthday. And um, the day after that, that's when my pappy had a heart attack. He technically had a Widowmaker's heart attack. I don't know how he lived through that. It was so crazy to me. He said that he thought it was heartburn, which made it extra scary for me because my heartburn gets like this. But he said he thought it was heartburn and he took antacids all night. He sat up with this heart attack all night thinking it was heartburn. That's the craziest thing to me. And then he went to the hospital at like 6 o'clock in the morning and they're like, dude, that was a heart attack. I was like, oh my god. And that was just the craziest thing. He's all fine now. Um, he ended up getting an artificial heart for a little while. Then he finally got his heart transplant. And he's all good now. The surprise party though, so before this happened, or before whatever happened with Pappy happened, um, at that party I got way too drunk. That was also the night that Amber Lynn got way too drunk and had uh, recorded herself a good bit and embarrassed herself. Um, she was so drunk that there was no way we were getting her up the stairs because those stairs are sketchy. So we just, we slept downstairs on the couch. Um, and then you guys will see my mom frequently drinking around this time because she's in a lot of the videos around this time. Um, my mom very much was an alcoholic. Um, it's no big deal. Uh, I mean, in the end, I guess it was, but you know, she was, and it ended up making some issues at one point. You will see. Um, then there was one night we did, because I think she put this in a video, we did fireball shots. And she did one with me, and she swore she was allergic to it. I mean, her face did get really hot, but I didn't know if she was really allergic to it or if it was just a fireball making her hot. But she didn't do any more of it. Her eyes were watering. I mean, she was fine. Then she shows how I start using a TV for a, a screen for my laptop because my laptop was broke. Um, my laptop got broke because me and her were literally arguing over me playing Sims and not doing something. I, don't, I couldn't even tell you what it was, but when I went to get up, I was mad and I just dropped it and broke it. I didn't like throw it down, but I dropped it trying to like walk away from the situation. Um, she also shows me with a cap on my head because I got highlights very frequently. Um, and then I also noticed that she showed my butt crack a lot. Um, I don't know why it is, but I have a long butt crack. I try to keep it maintained, but sometimes it's out. And I try my best to keep it covered up, but you know, it happens. But she didn't have no reason to be posting my butt crack on YouTube. Um, the photo shoot that I did also for my birthday, that was awesome. We found that it went, it was just a post that was on Facebook somewhere and we just thought it was a good idea. My mom handmade a lot of the decorations for it and she made the cake. Um, and that was a lot of fun and I got to take some good pictures with my mom. Me and Amber Lynn took pictures, but I was really glad to have those pictures with my mom. Um, then on my actual birthday, we went out. <laughs> now, um, it was a Wednesday, my birthday was on, and, uh, my mom was like, oh, we're gonna go to all these bars and have a good time, and I was like, okay, you know, I didn't really think there was a lot of bars gonna be open because it was a Wednesday, but we went to Applebee's and ate, and then we attempted to go to this gay bar that my mom really wanted me to go to, and there was supposed to be like a drag show. Well, we get there, and it's deserted. Nobody's there, nobody's nothing. Like, no, just nobody's there. Nobody answers, we can't get in, so we just give up on it. Um, We ended up finding a couple bars that were open, and we took shots at one of them, and then my mom wanted us to go to the strip club. Um, I talk about the lady that gave me a lap dance while we were there. She was older. She had to be like 40s at the most 50, you know, like 
she was definitely older and that was just a weird experience. You hear me talk about it in the video, but I did not enjoy it. Um, she kissed my neck. She only had a thong on. It was just really weird. It was like someone's grandma dancing on you. Like I was like, okay. Um, I only gave her a dollar and my mom yelled at me. She was like, you should have given her more than a dollar. She said she did a good job and all this. And I was like, uh, I didn't enjoy it. But my mom ended up giving her a few more dollars. Um, then Amberlynn shows me at Goodwill a lot trying to find polos. I wasn't trying to buy brand new polos quite yet. Because I need, I you know, I hadn't started the job yet. But I wanted to have some nice stuff to wear when I first started. So... We didn't have to look fancy though. Like I didn't have to wear a polo and khakis and nicer shoes and all that. The dress code was literally jeans and a t-shirt. You just couldn't wear shorts. Um, let's see. Um, Amber Lynn mentions the seatbelt thing again in one of these videos around this time when I'm getting gas. She says something about it still being broke. Um... Let's see. Amberlynn records me flipping off people a lot. Um, I do that. That's just one of the things I do. Uh, she showed when I made taco pie. I still make taco pie. That is the easiest thing to make, and it is so good. It's literally just crescent rolls, or I know that they even make the pizza crust, and or pie crust probably, in the cans now, you know, just like canned biscuits. That'd probably be easier than, to use than the crescent rolls now, but you literally just put crescent rolls down in a pie dish, cook your taco meat, season it, put it in there, put some Fiesta cheese on top, boom, you got your taco pie. Um, at this point, we were also trying to start looking for apartments. Whoa, Bo. Where's your, is you, are, you, are you looking for your thing? I don't know, what's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know what he wants. Um, like I said, we were already looking for, is your toy under there? Okay. See, I have it for now, but it's got green beans in it and a little bit of an orange. <laughs> okay, here. I put a blanket on the floor. You can't really see it, it's right there. Cause he thinks he's got to hold it on a blanket so it doesn't get away from him. Um, but we were already looking for an apartment or house to rent. And just so we have a clue of what we wanted to do. And we were trying to get everything sorted for when we were start working. So like, I think we were getting lunch boxes, stuff like that. This is also when Pokemon Go came out. And I don't know, everyone was flipping out over it. It was so cool. I got super into Pokemon Go couple years ago and then I don't know it just kind of faded out but she shows in a video me putting a phone you can't see the ceiling fan in here but putting a phone in a bag and putting it on the uh ceiling fan my mom kicked my butt for that because I duct taped it and it took some of the finish off but thankfully it was on the side you don't see so I didn't do that anymore um we did go and see my pappy a lot while he was in the hospital uh, I start playing Lego Dimensions a lot. That game was so cool. I don't have any of that stuff anymore. It all got just kind of lost and, you know, it is what it is. I wouldn't probably play it that much anymore anyway, but that, I just thought that was so cool. Um, as far as I know, because Amberlynn, I guess, starts talking about her childhood a lot right here. As far as I know, I don't know if she lied about anything that happened in her childhood. I don't know why she would lie about that kind of stuff. But, I mean, you don't know. And then I feel like that's a lot of her problems. You know, like, my mom tells her this at one point. She's like, you focus too much on the past. You blame the past for everything that's happening to you now. And you're not moving on from it. And I feel like that's still a big part of what's going on with her now. Like... She's still focused on what all has happened in the past and she's not moving forward. And I mean, hopefully she stops moving forward. Um, 
This is also around the time that I ended up going to the ER for my cramps because they were so bad. And it turned out that the cyst I had been trying to get checked out in Florida had burst. And I mean, that was the most painful experience of my life so far. Um, and I broke my ankle and my knee. So that was more painful. I mean, ugh, it was terrible. Um, we found out our start date for our job. It was August 12th. The hospital had told me just to follow up with a gynecologist. I got a gynecologist appointment and I got birth control. But I didn't really need the birth control, I guess. I tried to get back on it because I was afraid the cramps would still be bad. But ever since that happened, I don't even cramp. I don't, I don't nothing. And it, that's just a miracle in itself. So, um... I don't know why I put this, but I put Amberlynn doesn't show her legs a lot, but that's because she's really self-conscious about her legs because they're so big. She's, like I said, super insecure about them. And then we go into August. She starts explaining my weight gain, and I talked about this before in the last video. Um, I guess I weighed 180 pounds when we moved in together. I weigh about 230 now. Okay. It is what it is. Um, I'm not big on talking about my weight. I'm not worried about it right now. Um, I don't feel like talking about that. <laughs> um, Amber Lynn states that it's because I'm a picky eater. Um, no. <laughs> it's because for a long time, I mean, it was the way I was eating. Not necessarily what I was eating because I don't necessarily eat a lot of food. But when we were working at the assisted living facility and when we started working at this job, our schedule was second shift. And it's so hard when you work second shift to eat like a normal person. Like you sleep most of the day, you're up all night, you try to eat something before you gotta leave, but you're so tired, like 98% of the time, we weren't getting up till we had like an hour and a half, two hours to get to work. So it was getting ready, packing a lunch, whatever. And then, you know, you eat, while you're at work and then usually you want to eat dinner when you go home and that that was what it was you know eating late at night and then just going to bed that was a lot of it and I worked like that for so long and I blame some of it on that and I blame some of it on what I eat I mean I probably eat too much chocolate it is what it is <laughs> I probably eat too much sweets in general but it is what it is um I eat pretty regularly on a normal basis now because I work an eight to five Monday through Friday job. Um, cause my, the way I ate got really weird when I worked, started working third shift at the job I had when we, me and Dana were still living in Florida. <laughs> um, I do want to lose weight though. I just don't want to talk about it right now. At this point as well, she started to reach 13,000 subscribers. Um, and you see me rubbing her feet at this point. And that's because her feet were really, like, rough. Because all she would, she, like, she barely ever wore socks. And she would wear her flats and it would just, you know, dry her feet out. And I was doing this Mary Kay thing on her feet. My mom sold Mary Kay for a long time. So, this is also when we start to go to Lexington a lot on our own. And she just starts becoming obsessed with it. That's, like... The closest thing to, I guess, like a normal kind of part, because we lived in the middle of nowhere, that she liked. And we would just go all the time. Um, you guys have been also asking about me getting misgendered. I don't ever remember being called it. Someone asked that if I was ever actually called an it. Um, I don't ever remember that actually being called an it. But I do get mistaken as a guy a lot, and I don't understand how. Like, I have boobs and I kind of feel like I have still some feminine features maybe from the back of my head a dude I don't have a butt it's very flat back there um I don't know <laughs> I don't know how they don't notice but I just pretty much ignore it I just go with it um, I don't try to correct them. It doesn't bother me, especially if it's just like a waiter or a stranger. It's like, I'm never going to see this person again. Why correct them? Why go out of my way? Um, 
We were starting to get really excited about our job. It was contracted with the government. It started at like, I think 1525 or something like that, an hour. And it was really just data entry, but it was for the VA. Um, we literally just were on a computer all day naming documents for the VA. And it was a really nice job. I mean, it was freaking easy, but everyone that worked there for long enough, they worked you to death was what it was. And as easy as the job was, you were just working constantly day in and day out. And I feel like that's why so many people ended up getting fired from there or quitting. Um, it is what it is. I was there for almost two years. Um, or yeah, like a year and a half. This is around the time that people start sending me nudes a lot on Snapchat or Instagram and what have you. Um, that is why my Snapchat is private. Is because that's where I was getting it the most. And my Instagram is not private, but my messaging part is. Um, so that is why, because that was happening a lot. It has not happened in a long time. <sighs> but, you know, it is what it is. Talking about Walmart again. I swear she was just addicted to Walmart. I don't understand what it is. I don't think that she goes to Walmart like that anymore. I feel like when she moved to Lexington, I feel like she was just ready to go anywhere. I think mostly Target. But, oh, I just can't stand to go to Walmart half the time now. Um, I would rather, like I've said before in a video, just get my groceries delivered or I go to the Walmart neighborhood market when I need groceries. Like, I try not to go in Walmart very often. It's just a lot of work and a lot of people and overwhelming. Uh, she sees me get a few pairs of shoes and talking about shoes and stuff. Um, I'm obsessed with shoes. I showed my, it's right here, my shoe rack. And I like shoes mostly because I love shoes. I don't know if there's really a reason I love them, but I like to match my shirt with my shoes. Like that, it's always going to match. Like, I mean, I'm in comfortable clothes right now. Like I already took a shower when I got home and I'm in comfortable clothes and I'm wearing a blue shirt. My Crocs are blue like blue croc <laughs> and uh i think that was in a karina kaboom video i watched her um when i was doing the q a i was only showing one blue croc here's the other one <laughs> let's see um we had gone to goodwill and i had got some random stuff i got a k-cup holder that spun around um, <laughs> just remember the K-cup holder because that'll come back in a couple weeks from this point. Um, the night before we started working, my muffler fell off coming back from Walmart. Walmart, 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 Walmart. <laughs> um, my mom tried to tell me to drive all the way home and I called my stepdad because he's a mechanic, welder, whatever. He said, don't go anywhere. I'm on my way home as well. Where are you? Told him where I was and he came and he kind of jimmy rigged it with a hanger until we got back to my mom's and he welded it back on for me. My, he was like, if you would have listened to your mom, you would have lost it, had to buy a new one, all this. So it was a good thing I waited. Um, we just had orientation the first day we started working. Uh, it was just a lot. I don't remember what all was going on. It was that was when we had to get a new bank account, figure all that out, um, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. And then this is where it kind of goes blank for a little while, like in the videos. Like she, she states that it's because she changes as a person and this is also when we're saying that we're moving out like it's like we're starting work and then boom the next video is like we're moving out we're still here you know this that and the other um got we got very behind on vlogs and like i said she deleted the ones that she had filmed around this time i don't know why she did that i don't know what it was but a lot of this is when a lot of drama happened between her and my mom now, when I said that they were got into spats a lot before, I'm meaning like 
it could have been just anything. It was just little stuff a lot of the time. Or, you know, I don't know. It was just random stuff. I can't really pinpoint a lot of what it was, but it would be something small and between my mom being argumentative and Amber Lynn being argumentative, it would become a thing. But um, I want to say like a week or two into training at our job. So we weren't like working our actual hours that we'd be working. I think we were working like 3 to 11. Um, I think it was like the second week, honestly. We were sitting at the kitchen table, getting ready to leave for work, like packing my lunch, whatever, just sitting at the kitchen table talking. And I think I asked Amber Lynn how she likes the job so far and how, you know, easy it is and all that. And she starts t saying that she likes it, that it is easy, but she wanted to focus more on YouTube. And she was like, if by the time training's over, I decide I don't want to do it. I just won't start the actual job. And I don't know what came over my mom after this, but my mom came in there and started just saying, you know, like, she said something along the lines of you don't need to stay at home all day and YouTube. It's not going to be good for you trying to lose weight. And I guess Amberlynn got offended about, you know, weight loss and all that. It's a never ending thing with her on that. And Amberlynn started saying that she likes the job, but she likes, um, she likes YouTube better. And then she was debating on stopping and I don't know, her and my mom started arguing back and forth and my mom ended up getting physical with Amber Lynn. Um, that's where the cake cup holder comes back. Um, I think they're kind of slapping around at each other and my mom, that cake cup holder was sitting on the stairs for us to take upstairs or whatever. My mom came back with it and hit her over the head with it. It was, it was very traumatizing for me honestly it was I was freaking out um it was really rough for me we ended up not going to training that day which was ugh, it was awful I don't you know like that was the first time I ever had a panic attack and after that that's when I started like kind of experiencing anxiety before that I had some anxiety here and there and I'd only really get triggered when like I don't know, there was fights going on around me, like physical fights. It was never like people arguing, like that kind of got my anxiety going a little bit, but that was the only time I'd ever have anxiety is when people were physically fighting, like at school and stuff. If someone got in a physical fight, I don't know. I just, I had to walk away or I was gonna start freaking out. Um, uh, I had, like I said, my first panic attack, a PTSD flashback. I'm not going to get into my PTSD about all that right now because um, that would take too long and I'll save it for another time. I promise I'll explain that to y'all. Um, but that, like I said, first anxiety attack and it just, it was scary. I, I just remember seeing everything happen and then being on the floor and just screaming and then I kind of black out. But they said, I wouldn't let either of them get near me. I was like under the kitchen table just screaming. And I wasn't letting anyone touch me. I don't know. And when I kind of came to, I was so tired. And like I said, we just, we couldn't go to work that day. Um, so that's when we decided to get an apartment. Just for the sake of everyone being under the same roof. Um, we get out of training and we start working 5 to 3.30 in the morning. Oh my God, that was awful. 5 p.m. to 3.30 a.m. That was awful. Amberlynn also started having a lot of anxiety at this point too. I mean, it is what it is. And then right when we moved into our apartment, um, that was when all the drama with her ex and the situation that they had started. And I know that she quit filming for a little while there too. And I don't know, I don't wanna get into all that. I don't know, you know, like I just know what she has told everybody else so I mean I don't know and the person her ex um the evidence video that they posted I didn't know that she was messaging them um plain and simple I did not know that till she posted that video so I don't know um
I loved the townhouse we were in. It was super cheap and the landlords were great. They let us have three animals. That's what we were worried about, finding somewhere that would let us have three animals. Um, I believe with the pet rent, it was only $6.25, but that wasn't including water or electric. And then we had a dumpster for trash. So, but it was a really nice little townhouse. I loved it. We didn't have a washer and dryer yet. We were trying to, I think, either save up for one or something. I think my mom was trying to get a new one maybe too, and that we were going to get her old ones. I don't remember. We ended up getting some though. Um, then we get the big TV for the living room, the 55 inch, nice big TV. Um, Amberlynn says literally in this video that she gets it for me. And when we broke up, I wanted to, and when we were moving out of the, the lease went up in the apartment and I was moving in with Dana and she was going to live with Becky. I wanted that TV because she said it was for me. And she tried to say that it was her TV and that she was keeping it. I was not going to get it. And, you know, I wasn't trying to make a big thing out of it. I didn't really care, but it was the fact that she said it was for me and then turned around and said it wasn't. So I ended up just keeping the TV that we got for our room. So, and I had that TV till like last year, man. It finally broke. <laughs> um, we're still in September at this point and... This is when Amber Lynn leaves her wallet and a scooter in the parking lot of Walmart. Um, it had her ID in it. It had her social security card in it. It had her debit card in it. I was like, you really left that. And someone could have her identity by now. Who knows? Um, Amber Lynn started to become really popular at work. Like, she just was... Everyone talked to her. Like, we would all spend way too much time in the bathroom talking because we you can't talk sitting in the rooms where we were working and a lot of times we would just goof off in the bathroom everyone would be talking in there and neighbor Linda started to get really popular um she started doing a lot of her poetry on her vlogs um let's see then we get into october amber Lynn starts talking about buying me a new car um, I liked my car at the time. I didn't really see a reason to get a new one, but we had talked about it because, you know, it was a little car. It would have been nice to have a bigger car. And a lot of the issues, this is going to sound really bad. A lot of the issues I had with the car was driving Amberlynn everywhere. She was bigger. That car was so small and just... I don't know, when my stepdad looked over my car, you know, he said one of the, sh the shock on the side that she sat on was so worn down and I needed a new one and the one on my side was fine. So he said, clearly it's the weight shifting in the car and I had to get new tires, which the tires weren't her fault. I needed new tires anyway, like all four of them were, were done. So I got new tires, got the shock fixed and there was a crack in my radiator. I literally went to AutoZone, my, it was a 2000 Honda Civic. Went to AutoZone, got a new radiator for like 50 bucks, and my stepdad put it in for me. Um, we start showing this stray dog that's in our parking lot a lot. Um, and feeding him just the dog food that we have. Also around this time, we actually, like I said, she becomes popular at work. We go to the truck stop to eat after work, and it's a bunch of people, but Dana is one of those people because that's when we became friends was around this time like just friends nothing more um we were doing what was it i think it was something where you wear headphones and you say something and you try to get the person to say what you're saying something like that i don't remember it was something about i think lips are red something I don't remember what it was exactly but I say that to Dana and Amberlynn gets she's gets offended she I mean she goes off right there in front of everybody does not care and it was really embarrassing and I was like why are you doing this right now you know like I was not trying why would I try to be that way in front of you why would I try to be that way at all like I wasn't meaning anything by it I just had googled some of the stuff to say and I was saying on the list I wasn't specifically saying something to her and it's a big thing and 
it was that so um the 20 piece mcnugget thing she came back in a video and said that she had not eaten or the, i came back and said she didn't eat a 20 piece nugget she had me say that she did eat a 20 piece nugget she really did i don't know why she had me say that um this is also around the time she starts to talk about wanting to quit the job because she wants to pursue more YouTube. And they were also like, we started out in this one building for work and they were building us a new building, like redoing the inside of one for us to be at. And it was bigger and nicer. And it was getting close to being time to move to the new building. And I don't know, she was really nervous about the new building for some reason. And I was really tired of her complaining about everything with the job and she was trying to call out a lot. Um, and then this is also around the time things start to get really tense for us. Um, I know at this point, I know I said I was secretly talking to my ex. I was not talking to her at this point. Um, I talked to her here and there. I did not talk to her like the whole time we were together. Just when things would get really bad between me and Amber Lynn. Um, Amberlynn got super emotional about comments and hate on her YouTube and I told her not to read it if it was going to bother her or let it get to her she kept turning the comments off on her videos and I said I know it's better said than done to not read it and not let it get to you but if you wanted this to be your career you need to find a way to get over it basically and then on Halloween, I was Where's Waldo that year. I have a picture of it, I, maybe on my Instagram, but I was Where's Waldo. Um, I didn't become good friends with Dana, like actually like texting or talking to her till November. And I want to say like we would text a couple times here and there. And then she kind of just quit talking to me, quit responding to me. But I know towards the end of November... She showed me a laundromat and I went there with her and her mom and her best friend just to see what that laundromat was like. But it was like right after that is when we quit talking, really. She like ignored me till me and Amberlynn broke up, literally. Which I wasn't like blowing her phone up or anything, but I just thought it was weird that she just quit having contact with me. But she did have a boyfriend. So maybe that was it. I don't know. Um, we got new phones. We went from iPhone to Android, but Amberlynn still used the iPhone to vlog because she likes using iMovie. I don't understand iMovie to save my life. So um, we got Rarity Gray. Uh, let's see. This is November. I think I said that, by the way. This is when we start to become really good friends with Sharla. Um, I want to say Amberlynn still hangs out with her. I don't know. Um, after me and Amber Lynn broke up, I refused to be friends with Sharla. Sharla was a pot stirrer or a crap starter. Like, I mean, just too much drama with her. Um, we had some friends from work move a couple apartments down from us. Um, we had gotten to a big fight at some point and... I don't know what we were arguing about, but then I think either my mom or my mammy called me about going over there because my mammy was going to my mom's and she was like, hey, we're going to cook. You guys should come over. And I was like, heck yeah. You know, like I was ready to go. I hadn't seen my mom in a little while. I was ready to go over there and eat some good dinner and what have you. Well, Amber Lynn didn't want to go. And I said, that's fine. You don't have to go. Because I mean, like I said, there all that drama from before with her and my mom, which they were just tense. Um, but she didn't want me to go. And I was like, okay, well, it's been a little while since I've been over there. Just, you know, I'm going to go over there. And she was just like throwing a big, just fit. I don't know how else to describe it. She was crying and I had, I know it was a code red Mountain Dew in my hand. She will swear to you that this didn't happen. I've talked to her about it before and she swears it didn't happen. So I don't know why she thinks that, but why would I make this up? Um, I would try to walk out of the house and I know I had this code red Mountain Dew in my hand and I'm just like, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go. 
so and because we were already arguing i was like i don't want to be around you anyway right now like we're arguing i wanted to go see my mom um she starts screaming at me from the sliding glass door doorway saying that she's gonna harm herself um if i leave and i don't know just all this stuff you know just going nuts and then i was like no you won't you know i said that's not something to play around with just let me go see my mom and she starts like coming at me you know like ooh, ooh, ooh. so i get in my car and i leave the the, the the can on my top of my car and i close the door real quick and i lock the door and she's like telling me to get out all this stuff and she ends up throwing the can at my car made me mad um and I want to say I ended up not going. I don't think I did. I'm like 98% sure I did not go to my mom's. I ended up just going back inside and dealing with her. Um, and then I don't know if that's the fight that might have caused it. But right after that, we also got into an argument. And that's when she let me open a present. And it turned into opening all those presents. Um, I think someone asked if I still had any of the gifts that she got me. Wait, Carter. Trying to get under a blanket um i said i didn't have any of the gifts i didn't realize um i still have a pair of the shoes it was these shoes these maroon ones i still have those and i still have the pokemon jacket but that's it um and then right after that i she also bought me the computer i have um that's the computer that's very old <laughs> um she shows Twinkie in the shower with me. Twinkie did that a lot. I don't understand why. I don't know. I've had a couple dogs that just like to be in the shower. Bo is one of them. Aren't you, Bo? He likes to get in the shower or try to get in the shower with you. Um, Donald Trump was elected president. Went to P.F. Chang's for the first time. Maybe it wasn't the first time for me, but it was Charlotte's first time. We went with Charlotte and her sister. And... When we got there and we're waiting, I want to say me and my brother got in a fight about something. I don't know. It ended with me crying and him being mad at me because I was in Lexington and I hadn't drove. Because Amberlynn offered to pay for Charlotte because it was expensive. We were supposed to eat at Cheesecake Factory for one. and But we went to P.F. Chang's instead because they were taking so long. Um, but my brother was mad because he had came into town and I was like, well... I'm in Lexington right now and it was already late at night and I was like I just can't up and go right now I didn't even drive myself and I don't know me and him got in a fight about it um let's see that was when we started hanging out with Charla like a lot I know that this at this point Amber Lynn had quit the job and uh I know that my lunch and stuff was always with Charla. I always spent lunch with Charla and it would be just me and her chilling and going and getting like KFC, whatever. And then we were also hanging out with the friends that moved a couple apartments down from us. You see us go to their house at one point. Um, I had an uncle that passed at this point. Um, Oh, you can see after this, I've started like hanging out at my mom's a lot and going over there a lot and her saying that I just wasn't there and all this. And I mean, I just wanted to see them. And after that big fight from before, I'm glad that she was letting me, letting me having to say that that sucked. Um, we put up the Christmas tree that we got and we went to my uncle's funeral. That's when you see me put a fancy shirt on and a bow tie. Then the laundromat that she shows that we're being filmed at, that's the one I went to with Dana and her mom. And it was the only 24 hour laundromat that was close to us. And it wasn't even like right next to our house. There was plenty right by our house, but none of them were 24 hours. And we liked doing laundry after. Carter, are you on my clean shorts? Carter, are you on my clean shorts? <laughs> Um, that there wasn't any that were 24 hours and we like to do laundry after we got off work and it would be 3.30 in the morning. So we needed one that was that late. Don't be messing with your brother. Carter, quit itching your eye. 
Quit. Quit. I oh, know. You're going to poke it out. <laughs> um, let's see. Like I said, this was around the time Dana and I had become good friends. This is, I guess, the point towards the end of November, she quit talking to me. And like I said, we didn't talk till after me and April Lynn broke up. Uh, besides like here and there at work, uh, you can see us at Thanksgiving, at my mom's playing with Little Bear, and then we go Black Friday shopping. Now we're going into December, which is good because this video is getting long. Um, things at this point really are starting to get super rocky with us. Um, she starts Vlogmas and I gave her her gifts way before Christmas. Um, I also started planning her, it was, she thought it was going to be a Friendsmas. So just like a Friends Christmas getting together Christmas party. But really, I was planning a surprise party for her. And we were arguing so bad about something. It was, she was trying to say that I was being secretive and I thought I was keeping stuff from her and all this. And we were arguing and I was like, fine, you want to know what I'm being secretive about? I was planning you a surprise birthday party. And now you know about it. I was going to do it when we have the friends miss thing and you weren't going to know. And she was like, oh my God, that's the sweetest thing, you know? And I was just like, well, you're not going to be surprised now. And she said, don't, don't cancel it. You know, we'll still do it. I'll act surprised. And she shows the party and what have you. Charla, it was me and Charla and her sister that were trying to do all this together. So. Um, let's see. This is around the time she started you nowing a lot. Um. We surprised my brother for his birthday. You see that in a video, me and him and his cake. It was actually not a cake, it was chocolate lasagna. I remember my mom made that, it was so good. Made a bunch of Christmas cookies, had a really great Christmas. My mom's birthday was on New Year's. And then that's it. Um, I can't really think of anything specific that happened in December besides, cause her birthday's so late in the month too. Um, and I haven't started 2017 yet. It just says January. So, um, I'll get started on that and get to working on that for you guys. But, um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I need to wrap up as well in this video while I still have a little bit of time. Um, like I said, so, I know you guys keep asking like what they would argue about her and my mom. And like I said, it was just little spats here and there. Um, I don't know what else to talk about right now. I don't remember anything else because I've pretty much addressed a lot. And I told you guys this was the juicy part. And I promise you that January and February, and I think some of March, is juicy as well for 2017. And then there's a lot of stuff going on with me and Dana after that. And slowly starting to hang out with Amber Lynn. So, um... That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tea. This was a, like I said, spicy brew. <laughs> Tartar, Carter, say bye. Bo, say bye. Tell him bye. <laughs> Can't really see Bo. Bo, tell him bye. Bo, Bo, tell him bye. <laughs> All right.